Hello everyone and welcome! Uh, I have a completed pages video for you today. I'm sorry again that I've been so quiet on YouTube. Um, I'm still <laughs> adjusting to my lunar life circumstances. There's a lot less time than I have being a single parent and so um, I just don't have as much time to color or energy to make videos. Um, but I'm hoping once I find a better, better rhythm that um, I can start making more content again. I do have um, more pages to show than I feel like I have the past few months. So um, yeah, because my uh, therapist has been reminding me and encouraging me that I need to take time to do things that I enjoy and um, that relaxed me during such a stressful time of my life. Uh, so I've really tried hard, but it, it, you know, it's hard to find time to do that. Also, when there's so many things that are vying for my attention right now, um, but uh, I am excited to show you what I've worked on. Um, also, before I forget, um, I will be I am hosting a color along for this month of November. Uh, I It's my birthday month and so I thought it would be fun to do a hashtag uh, for that, which is hashtag 29th coloring page, which I will write that in the description as well. But I'm turning 29, so I thought, you know, my last year being 29, or being in my 20s, you know, maybe my last Last year being in my 20s, I thought it'd be fun to do a hashtag. So essentially what it is, is you can choose any coloring book and you can do as many pictures as you want also, but choose any coloring book and you just color the 29th page of that coloring book and then tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag, hashtag 29th coloring page so I can see it and share it. Um, I've already had a couple entries that are just so absolutely beautiful so I'm excited to continue to see your entries and um, just to have some sort of community uh, and connection event um, for the month of November um, so uh, let me show you what I worked on this month I worked on a lot of whips wait and I finished uh, some stuff that I've been working on. So I started this page, which is in A Million Quiet Cuties. So this, once it, when it's done, it will fit into Lavelia and Coloring with Tees, uh, hashtag color your hoard. Uh, so once I'm done, it will fit in there, but I just <sighs> had fun with this one so far, just using these bright, happy colors. I love these greens, these cute little frogs. So it's mostly the foliage. It always, always trips me up. I don't know why, but it does. So I might go in with some markers and then shade over the top of it. I believe this is um, Prismacolors for the frogs and the flowers and the background also. Um, and I don't know, it's just so cute. <gasps> then this one. I am so excited about this one. And I'm so close to being done with it. Um, but, uh, the, for the background, I used my Supervision watercolors, and it's got this beautiful gold sheen in it. Um, all y'all know, <laughs> Supervision are, like, my favorite right now for backgrounds. They're just, they add some sort of cool effect, and, um, I thought it would be kind of a nice, uh, from the, like, the typical blue that you would see that I would normally do like a sunrise scene. I feel like I do like sunrises or sunsets or blue and that's about it. So I wanted to do something a little different but felt magical. And then for the start mound I used my Schmincke granulating watercolor. I believe, oh which one was it? Uh, I had to put the palette away because my son was trying to paint with it. Um, <laughs> and those are expensive. I do not need my two-year-old painting with my nice watercolors, but 
uh, yeah, it's one of the Schmink granulating watercolors. I think it was in the Tundra collection. Um, and then the greenery is uh, my Brute Funer pencils in the 520 set. Um, so, yeah, I just have some little detail stuff to work on and it'll be done. And I think last month I had worked on this and it was almost done. I just had some finishing touches. Um, so I added those in. Um, I think I just needed to finish the bee and the ladybug. And so I used my Caligro Fine Tech watercolors for that. I think that page turned out pretty. Um, okay, this <laughs> was an ambitious <laughs> page. Uh that I worked on this month, and I'm almost done with it. Um, this is what I brought to work with me, and I worked on during my 15 minute breaks, so uh, it took me a really long time, <laughs> but it was, it's absolutely worth it, I think. I just think it's gonna look so stunning, and pretty much all I have to do is um, just some finishing touches, like the little lightning bugs, and some other random stuff. So for most of this, I've used uh, my Prismacolor pencils <clears throat> for the background, which took forever, but I think it looks really nice. Um, and then for the flowers also. And then for the leaves on the tree, I actually did um, kind of a yellow almost, is puce the right word, where it's like not quite, it's not chartreuse, but it's kind of a greenish yellow, I don't know if you can see it, but, um, so I did alcohol marker with that, and I was really worried because I thought it just was, I don't know, the, the leaves didn't feel like they were going to, uh, pop out, it just felt like they were kind of a secondary thing, and then, um, I shaded over with a uh, brute funer pencil and I think it just like uh, I was so happy with how it turned out because I think these leaves just pop and I got the contrast that I wanted because I didn't want them to um, kind of blend in with the background since the background is green so I didn't want to go I don't know I just feel like I'm glad that I trusted my instinct in using yellow for the base uh, rather than a green. Um, anyways, I, I'm super excited about this one, super happy with it. It's in my top coloring pages um, that I've done. Um, anyways, yeah, I just have some finishing touches to put on and it'll be completely done. Which I'm very impressed with myself that I even finished a mythographic, or got close to finishing a mythographic picture. <laughs> um, but that's kind of what I focused everything on this month. Um, and then I finally, finally, finally finished my body color in fine color by Gugeli Iced Kate from um, Kate's Coloring Haven. Uh, and I, we picked a picture in here to do together and hers is stunning and it just turned out really beautifully and I felt so bad because, um, you know, I've, had my my life pretty much turned upside down and so I just never got to it never got to it and I had quite a bit of it done I just didn't have the mental space or the time to really work on it um but I finally finished it that was my number one goal for this month was to finish this picture and I finally did and I am so happy with it I turned I think it turned out so beautiful I was really worried that after doing, because I had done the background, the flower, and her hair, skin, and clothes, and then everything else needed to be done, and I was really worried that I would ruin all of that, uh, but I, I think it turned out really beautiful. So I did Fine Tech, Calero Fine Tech for these beads right here, and then also in the corner of the frame, and then also for the jewelry that is in her hair, and um, even her earrings has the fine tech, which I used. I need to show you. Where did that paintbrush go? I used my tiniest brush. 
Oh, of course, it was just here. I just had... Oh, here it is. I used this brush right here. So tiny. <laughs> to do all those little details. And it was just really relaxing and therapeutic. And um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So all of this is watercolor. There's no pencil on it. So there's the fine tech watercolor. And then this background is um, the granulating schmink watercolor and uh, I believe the flowers also, and then her clothes and her skin is from a watercolor set that I have, so um, anyways, I just think it turned out really beautiful, and I'm so glad that um, Kate, the beautiful Kate, asked to do a picture in this book, because I love this book, but it's always so scary to color in it, so um, yeah. Alright, next up, I finished a picture in Unicorns Special. This has been a whip for a while. Um, I had everything based, so I just really needed to shade everything. So I shaded, and then I added some of my Supervision watercolors to the background to give this kind of pearlescent, um, what's the word, mystical effect. To the picture and then some fine tech watercolor for these little embellishments right here the stars and the dots um and yeah so everything is based in water or in alcohol marker and then shaded over with prismacolor pencils so i think that turned out nice and then i did a picture in midnight blue i finished is it this one? I gotta, I'm second guessing myself now. Yeah, I finished. Uh, so this page was a whip. Um, and um, I think what I added was the uh, uh, Supervision watercolor for these blocks. And then my Fine Tech, uh, I think I used a copper color for the hand. And the, these squares right here, and for, um, yeah, so I think that turned out quite pretty. Uh, yeah. And then, lastly, did I, oh, I finished this picture right here, which is really cute. I believe this is the one, I don't know, maybe this is repeat from last month, but, uh, I believe, yeah, I had started doing a color in chat, and, I just never got around to finishing it, so I am sorry. <laughs> this was going to be a channel color along and it just never worked out, but I used granulating watercolor for the background and then um, pastel pencils for this elephant. And then I used Prisma colors to shade in the flowers. And I think it's really cute. So anyways, that's everything that I colored for the month of October. I just realized I was going to color something Halloween, and I totally spaced that, but that's okay next year. Uh, and anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite picture from this month was, and I hope that um, you were able to receive some color inspiration. I know these videos always do that for me, so thanks again for watching and for all of your support, and I hope to see you next time. Happy coloring!